favorite time of the day right now. I like the fun with Joe segment. Joe's not here. Dan Martone is here. I hope, that hopefully, Joe is having fun though where he is. Oh, I'm sure he is in South Carolina. He's probably sleeping. <laughs> He's probably like, yeah, I'm on vacation. I'm sleeping. <laughs> He's sleeping until noon. Today, Dan, I have a really tough game for you today. A tough game? Although, you know, I say that, but, you know, what's tough for me may not be tough for you. I took this test this morning. Well, yesterday was a tough game. You did the Oscars. Well, that I thought would be easy for you because you're an actor. It's, no. Uh, See, th- a lot of those movies are just not my genre. Just, a few of them, of course, because they were so big. But other than that, they just bore me. Well, today I have... Today <laughs> I have the old classics. Today, today, bored by <laughs> oh, man. Today I have eponyms. Do you know what an eponym is? I do not. It's a company that makes these cool chocolate donuts. No, nice. No, 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 no. Yeah, good company. Now, these, you know they're making those with not even real sugar anymore. They're using... High fructose corn syrup. I was so disappointed. Really? And I can taste oh. the difference. Oh, not only can you taste the difference, but that's a chemical. It gives me a headache, personally. Well, have you have you tried, like, the Pepsi, where they say throwback Pepsi, where they're using sugar? The real sugar? Yeah. 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 Can you tell the difference? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Right away. That syrupy Definitely. taste is gone. Definitely. Because real sugar just tastes better. Yeah. Well, so these uh, an eponym is a thing that's named after a person. A thing that's named after a person. Right. For example, um... Was Mount Rushmore named after a guy named Rushmore? I think so. Like the Trump Tower is named after a person. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Donald Trump. Yeah, so is everything else he has. <laughs> <laughs> he has Trump underwear, Trump but socks. It, but it's a little bit more intricate than that. And it's a fun game. Trump teeth. And you'll say, wow, I never knew that. And and hopefully uh, we'll have some listeners who can help us out. Good. I hope so. Uh, we're almost up to the break already, believe it or not. So do we yes, have a, we are. We do, talked a lot. Do we have a good prize? I know. Robin's got some stuff over there. Well, just tell the prizes, and I'll just okay. start the break a little okay. bit late. We have two tickets to the Shrine Rodeo. Each ticket is good for two adults and two children, and that's happening August the 20, 29th, right here in Ocala, Florida, at 7.30 p.m. Uh, these tickets are only good for Friday evening, and a $30 value for each ticket, so that's $60. We have a $20 gift certificate to Bob Wines uh, Nursery and Camellia Gardens. And we also have one free new grilled chicken sandwich at Chick-fil-A that is located in the Paddock Mall only. So we have those three prizes. Man, had I known we had, we have a food shopper. We're giving away a, had I known this, I would have pulled up that guy that does this commercial. Oh. You've seen it? No. Oh, he's a little sensation. He's just chopping away and he's talking so fast. Oh, you got a chopper. Oh, yeah. He's okay. a food chopper. It's a food chopping process. Okay. Right. But he sells them for nineteen ninety five, And it's yours today if the price is right. <laughs> if, you, right. if you pick the right player. Yeah, well, well that part a, too. A, oh. there, you have different things with the food chopper. That and some with. tongs. Mm-hmm. Right. That's it. Oh, no. In the bag, there's one more oh, thing with the food the chopper. Yeah. Oh, what is okay. it? What is it? They're very colorful. Green and blue. And oh, tongs. pizza cutter. Oh, you got tongs. Oh, is it? No, that's not a pizza cutter. It's an avocado cutter oh okay now avocado cool. slicer okay that's pretty cool if you like avocados yeah. if not it's useless but if you like avocados you it's pretty sli- cool couldn't you slice a tomato with that? i would think you could do an egg with that too oh yeah, yeah that would be neat but it's it's some kind of slicer for avocados okay so there you go so that's the prize package it'll go to the winner today the, the loser gets nothing nothing oh. So we need to have somebody bet on Dan and somebody bet on Robin. Anything yeah. else, Robin? No, that's it. That's all we have. Which is a <laughs> great prize. It is. It's yeah, a Shrine Rodeo every year. All right, we got, we got to look this up. Yeah, wonderful. the Shrine Rodeo is good. Yeah. yeah. So call us right now if you want to bet on Dan or Robin. We need just two players. The uh, phone number to call is 622-WOCA. We'll be right back. Robin. The weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Safe boating is no accident. Partly sunny skies today with a couple of showers and a thunderstorm. High 89 to 93. It will turn partly cloudy today. Tonight, low 74 to 77. Tomorrow will feature intervals of clouds and sunshine with a couple of showers and a thunderstorm. High 87 to 92. And partly cloudy skies tomorrow night, low 74 to 76. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm Stephanie Omo. This weather brought to you by ANA Lock Dock. Did you know that most break ins happen during bad weather because it masks the sound? Don't be another victim. Protect your home and business today. Call ANA Lock Dock, 352 867 1965. That's 352 867 1965. Hi, folks. Jim Lally for the Mortgage Center. I want to talk to you about WOCA and radio. Radio advertising works, folks. Three shows in Atomic Carry Real Estate Hour produce 15 calls for us, and it'll work for you. So if you've thought about it, get off the fence, make the decision. WOCA radio advertising works. Call us. 
Habitat for Humanity of Marion County is a ministry dedicated to improving lives by providing affordable and decent housing. Help them help others by visiting the Habitat for Humanity Ocala Restore at 926 Northwest 27th Avenue. To schedule a donation, give us a call at 401-0075 and we'll come pick it up. For more information, visit ocalarestore.org. Habitat for Humanity of Marion County. Building homes, building hope, building community. Career Source Citrus Levy Marion brings together business and community partners, economic development leaders, and educational providers to connect employers with qualified, skilled talent, and job seekers with employment and career development opportunities. Tune in the first and third Wednesday of each month at 9.30 a.m. to Career Source Citrus Levy Marion and learn how they can help you. The hottest CD deal this summer is with Florida Credit Union. Our summer CD special includes a short 25-month term combined with 1.51% APY. Take advantage of this high-yield CD special. Offer good till Saturday, August 16, 2014. In Gainesville, call 352-377-4141. In Ocala, call 352-237-8222. Florida Credit Union, connecting your money to your life. Federally insured by the NCUA. Offer subject to change at any time. $10,000 minimum a garden and we've got a show for you called You've Got a Garden with your host, Master Gardener, Carol Ann Baldwin. Carol Ann answers your questions about your flowers, your veggies, your grass, your trees, even questions about your bugs. And she's only on WOCA, so don't miss Carol Ann Baldwin and You've Got a Garden each Tuesday from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. right here on WOCA The Source. WOCA looks boring. Stop having a boring tuna. Stop having a boring life. Add this tuna, put it here like this. Now you're going to have a nice tuna salad. Look at this. You're going to have an exciting jump, jump, life jump, 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 right, that, 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 You, you <laughs> weren't listening to something weird. That was just uh, Dan wanted you to hear the commercial for the chopper thing that we've got here that we're giving away. It chops, it slices, it dices. Stop having a boring life. <laughs> so Rob is betting on Robin and Boris is betting on you, Dan. Okay. Yes, sir. Yep. So now here we go. So one of them yeah. will win the chopper. The chopper. All right, here we go. Yeah. Ready? Food now we have ento, ep, 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 eponyms today. Eponyms, things named after people. Uh, this next, th the first thing I have here is named after this guy. This was a British earl. Mm -hmm. He a was British earl. He was yeah. He was so fond of gambling mm -hmm. that he would refuse to leave the table even for lunch. So, a servant prepared a snack for him, which led. The Earl, which would allow the Earl to a eat sandwich. Sandwich is right. Thank you. His name was uh, Earl of Sandwich. He was he was named the fourth Earl of Sandwich. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you pull sandwich out of that? <laughs> yeah, really. Because not ham, <laughs> not tuna, not some kind of no, specialty. Of just generic Earl. sandwich. What I lost happened? my pen. I lost did, my pen. did you know Earl you. Sandwich of Earl? Did you really know that <laughs> Earl of Sandwich? She must have known. She, she was that in a movie somewhere? <laughs> Earl of Sandwich? Some kind of documentary on PBS at three o'clock in the morning? <laughs> all right, all right, ready? Here's another one. You gotta be kidding me. This physicist Earl of Sandwich was the first to make a thermometer that used mercury. Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit is right. Good job. Thank you. Boris and Dan on the board. We're now tied. Woohoo! Gabriel Daniel Fahrenheit is his name. This colorful climbing shrub was named after a French navigator named... An ivy? Nope. Named Louis Antoine de Blanc. Blanc is the word. The colorful plant was reportedly first observed by Louis, who first saw the plant during his travels to Brazil. This ornamental Brazil. plant is named after this French Admiral. Mm. Uh, Admiral uh, Louis Antoine de Flute. <laughs> no. De is it Bloom? a Beatles song? <laughs> Admiral Falsey? Halsey? It no. is not a Beatles song. And it's not Falsey. Honeysuckle? Falsey. No. no. That's a good guess. Okay, but it's not mm. Ivy. It's a creeping plant. <laughs> right. Come on, do you know? Is it Bougainville? Yeah, man. You're wow. good. Wow. You Bougainville? Me Bougainville is Bougainville? the plant. <laughs> and, who, wow. and, and who's the point for? For Dan. Rock Ooh, on, Pete. Two Thank for you. Boris and Dan. Thank you. All right. Wow, that was amazing. That was. Bougainville. All right. Uh, the, the next one. One of the old seven wonders of the world was named after the king of Korea. A meaning of 
the word that originated from his name is a large gloomy room or building usually housing a tomb or several tombs. Oh, the pyramids? No. This oh, is the a, Sphinx. No, we're not talking about a specific building. It's it, There are lots of them. There's a Lighthouses? No, but that's a better... It's along the right line. Hmm. But these are gloomy large rooms. Gloomy large rooms. <laughs> Catacombs? No, good morning. Do you know? My guess is mausoleum. You are so oh, good. good. It job. is mausoleum. And who's the point for? For Mr. Dan. Woo. Thank you. His job. name was uh, Mar- Marcellus. 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 King, King Marcellus. All right, the next one. Uh, this eponym is named after a Texas cattleman who refused to brand his cattle. His, mm. his name was Samuel Blank. Angus? No. Mm. Samuel Blank. Adams? Refused to brand the, his cattle. The word, the word that comes from his name refers to a person with independent thought or action. American. Individual. No. What? What? Individual? No. Go on, do you know? Maverick. Maverick is right. Oh. I thought those were horses. Samuel Maverick. Wow. Yeah. I thought those were just free-range horses. <laughs> and who was the point for? Give it to our own Top Gun, Dan. Woo, yeah, good job, go. Dan. Go. I am Forrest smoking Dan. today if I do say so myself. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Pete. Yeah. All right, this, in, Rob. this word uh, it comes from the name of a soldier who was in Napoleon's army, and he became a laughingstock after he kept proclaiming that the emperor could never be defeated. This was after the defeat and exile of Napoleon. What word was derived from, this, from the name of this soldier, which means having an exaggerated allegiance to something or someone? Having wow. an exaggerated allegiance to something or someone. Um, Stupidity. His name was Nicholas, and then his last name was... Obviously wasn't dumb. This word. Not cage. Nicholas. <laughs> Over-exaggerator. Bartholomew? No, nobody's, nobody's helping out either. Uh, his yeah, name was Nicholas nothing. Chauvin, and uh, the word chauvinism oh, yep. Chauvin comes, comes from that. Oh, this is cool. Chauvin. This is hard. Thank All right, you. very hard, yes. This is N- difficult. The next one is a really cool one, I think. Really cool one, okay. A German physicist pr- uh, propounded a theory of animal magnetism, which could be used to influence others. Pheromones? No. This is not a, not a, it's not a hormone. It's a, Pavlov? No. His first um, name was Franz. Um, let me think how I can give you a clue here. Henderson? No. Good morning. What do you think? Mesmerize. Wow. Oh, God. How do you know Good this job. stuff? Okay, yeah, you're right. It, uh, the word mesmerize or mesmerism. I got it from the hand. Franz Mesmer is the, is the uh, yeah. guy's name. Who's the point for? Dan. Ooh. Good job. I hope I'm mesmerizing somebody with something. I'm, this is crazy stuff. Good job, Pete. <laughs> wow. Wonderful stuff. I know, it's amazing. All right, the next one. A French nobleman. You know the camera's right on your answers, right? <laughs> they can't. <laughs> <laughs> is it on Dan's cell phone there? Is that what he's doing? That's what it is, yeah. <laughs> Tuned in. Uh, <laughs> no, they can't. <laughs> a French nobleman. A French nobleman had a strange habit of torturing young men and women. Strange habit, huh? <laughs> Just, yeah, what do you do? Well, you know, I like stamps. I torture people. From his title is derived a word which means pleasure and cruelty. Pre- oh. Pleasure from cruelty. This is a word that means... Misery. S&M. Ooh, you're really boring. B&M, uh, B&D. You almost got it. Uh, S&M. 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 Uh, Sodom Gomorrah. Uh, <laughs> what are we doing here? It's oh. either the S or the M. Does that help? Sadism? It is sadism, okay, yes. Okay, two wow. for us and Rob. <laughs> two for Rob and me, five for Boris. There, it wasn't yeah. his name. His name was uh, Alphonse Francois, but he was the Marquis de Sade. Uh, oh. Marquis de Sade. Okay, I wonder where the Sade is coming in. Which okay. is where the sadism comes from. Sadism. Yeah, he had uh, sexual pleasure from hurting people. That's yeah. messed up. That is crazy. Yeah, that's probably a disease. There's something in the brain with that embedding. Yeah, a lot of people. <laughs> By the way, the that, word though. masochism, which is to get sexual pleasure from being hurt, mm-hmm. uh, comes from an Austrian guy named Leopold Massach. So these wow. two people should have got together. Mm-hmm. <laughs> There's a lot of entrepreneurial. That's true. There's somebody for everyone, right? That's right. A lot. Just of put a sadist like with a masochist, sugar. and you're good to go. Goodness, uh, a word that means idealism without practicality. Is, Dreamer is derived from a fictional person who dreamt imaginary worlds and fought in imaginary wars. Imagination. Very, very famous name. Dreamt. All right, one oh, more time. Hint, he dreamt hint. what? He. <laughs> he hint. A hint. He very dreamt imaginary name. worlds and he fought in imaginary wars. Hmm. 
Oh, uh, Don Quixote. Don Quixote is right. That's it. Uh, so Read the answer is Quixotic. Uh, Quixotic. If you're Quixotic, it means you are of an idealist without being practical. We're wow. Up, Rob. You might 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 just describe me sometimes. <laughs> All right, the tenants of a cruel English estate agent decided to protest against him by socially ostracizing him. A his, surf? His name was Charles Blank, and uh, the word usually means to... Uh, Embarrass? No, no, to um, avoid, to stop dealing with... Uh, Boycott? Boycott is right. Yes, boycott is right. Charles Boycott. Yes, and boycott Excellent. the phone companies, <laughs> <laughs> cable companies. All right, the next one. The, the expression that is used to categorize such phrases as "it is customary to cuss the bride" or "the Jordan was baptized in the John" is credited to a professor named William Archibald Watt. Oh, gee, that's um. William Archibald Watt. Oh my gosh, we just dyslexia. Had this. <laughs> No, but that's a good guess. Gosh. That's a really good guess. Oh, wow. Come on, I do you know? remember. Call in, Rob. Is it Spoonerism? It is Spoonerism, that's yes. It. William Archibald Spooner was the guy's name. That's it. And he, I guess he did this all the time. Uh, who's the point for? Mr. Dan. Woo. Dan. Wow. Boris is rocking. I think that he we can, is. Time, He's time for right one now. more. Time for time one, for one more. more. Okay. Uh, a view of an object consisting of an outline with a featureless solid interior. Features this person's a name. Ghost? Oh. Features this person's name. It was because this. Uh, uh, um, wow. He was the finance minister of King Louis the Fifteenth. Frenzel. No. Let's see if somebody can help you out real quick. Call in, Rob. Come on, do you know? Silhouette. Silhouette is right. Oh, jeez. Ah! Yeah. Good job. Yeah. Or right, who's that wow. point for? Us, if I don't... Impressive, Pete. For the big Martone. All right, Woo. so so Dan, Dan wins, right? Yes, Dan and Boris. Yeah, Boris have wins. Eight, Robbie, and I, have I had three. no part in the game, but right. Boris won. <laughs> Pick up your prize. Fox News Radio. I'm Lillian Wu. President Obama expected to speak out today on the violence in Ferguson, Missouri, where there was a fourth night of demonstrations. This over the deadly police shooting of an unarmed black teenager. Protesters throwing Molotov cocktails and other objects at police who responded with tear gas and smoke bombs. A convoy of Russian trucks at the Ukraine border raising questions. Moscow claiming they're carrying relief supplies. Ukraine has said that it would accept the aid if it were transferred to the International Committee of the Red Cross, or at least if Ukrainian border troops could inspect each truck. But Russia has not indicated that it will play by those rules, and it may not have to because it appears that the trucks are moving towards a pro-Russian rebel-held border crossing. Fox's Amy Kellogg, Fox News. We report, you decide. They say every healthy relationship should have a balance of predictability and spontaneity. In fact, it is that assurance of security that makes the spontaneous possible. Your relationship with your car should be a little like that too. With our new industry-leading unlimited mileage warranty, your certified pre-owned Mercedes-Benz instills a sense of confidence. You drive away knowing that you can keep driving 